So you're thinking about getting solar, and you're rightfully concerned about the change from net energy metering 2.0 to 3.0 happening this April. I want you to know that our team at August Roofing and Solar completely understands your concern. It's our mission to get you all the information you need to make the best decision for you and your family. So let's take a look at what's included in this change and what's at stake for those who don't take action as soon as possible. First of all, what exactly is Net Energy Metering 2.0, or NEM 2.0 for short? Well, if you have solar panels that produce more electricity than what your house is using, that surplus of electricity is being pumped back into the grid and is made available for other customers to use. That sounds like a nice thing to do, right? It is. But wouldn't it be even better if you got paid for all that extra power your solar panels produced? We think so. Net Energy Metering 2.0 is a program that does just that. You receive credits on your electricity bill for any excess electricity you produce and feed back into the grid. These credits can be used to offset the cost of electricity you consume from the grid, like at night when the sun goes down and your solar panels aren't producing any electricity at all. With NEM 2.0, the credit exchange rate is basically one to one. In other words, if your solar panels put an extra kilowatt hour into the grid, you'll receive a credit on your bill worth one kilowatt hour, reducing the cost of electricity you've pulled from the grid. This is one of the reasons why getting a house battery along with a solar power system hasn't made sense for a lot of us. NEM 2.0 basically allows us to use the grid as our house battery free of charge. But this is where a pretty significant problem has been created for the grid. As more and more residential solar power systems are installed, this back and forth flow of electricity has put an increased strain on the grid. To help visualize what I'm talking about, this blue line shows the electricity usage of an average household throughout the day. The first peak is when we're all waking up and getting ready, running our hair dryers, toasters, coffee makers, and microwaves. Then, while we're all at work and our children are at school, our electricity usage is low until the evening when everyone comes home. The evening is when we have our largest spike while we're using our electric ovens and stoves to cook dinner, watching TV, using space heaters to stay warm, doing the laundry, and turning on lights. Now, compare this orange line that represents the amount of electricity your solar panels produce throughout a typical day. You'll see the average home is actually using the most electricity when the solar panel production is low and hardly using any electricity when the solar panel production is high. In other words, the grid has to deal with a high flow of electricity to your house in the morning, a high flow from your solar panels throughout the day, then a high flow to your house again in the evening. It wasn't designed to sustain this level of usage, especially as more and more homeowners go solar. NEM 3.0 is supposed to be the solution to this problem, but it falls short by dissuading homeowners to put their surplus electricity back into the grid. They're doing this by significantly decreasing the value of credits you can earn so that it's no longer a financial benefit to do so. For example, if you were to get a credit worth 36 cents under NEM 2.0, that same credit under NEM 3.0 might only be worth around 2 cents. It's easy to see how this can significantly decrease the amount of savings you'll get from your solar panels, as well as increasing your monthly electric bill and pushing out the time it'll take for you to see the full return of your investment in solar by an additional four to six years. The good news is that there's still a window of opportunity to lock in the NEM 2.0 rates for 20 years. As long as you've signed a solar contract and have submitted an application for NEM 2.0 by April 13th, 2023, your rates will be grandfathered in. If you've been thinking about installing a solar panel system and you want to maximize your savings and return on investment, then now is definitely the time. It's also important to know that NEM 2.0 stays with the system even if you sell your home. This means a system under NEM 2.0 could add more value to your home than a system under NEM 3.0. So if you've been thinking about getting solar, don't have an extra $15,000 to $20,000 for a house battery, and want to increase the value of your home, acting now to lock in M2.0 could be the right move for you. Give us at August Roofing and Solar a call. We'd be happy to answer any of your questions. We can also set up an in-home consultation to go over every option for you and provide you with our transparent pricing. We want to make sure you have all the information you need to make the right decision for you and your family. 
Thanks for giving us the opportunity to bring professionalism back into the construction industry. We look forward to hearing from you today.